Right, so I'm going to go through 1.2.5, um, which is data compression. So data compression is where you perform an algorithm on the data to reduce the file size. This is called compressing the file. So basically what we're doing here, we take a, a, a file, be it an image or something that we've taken on our camera or a video that's like 250 meg and we need to get it down to 80 meg or something for some reason. Maybe putting it online and we don't want to use the bandwidth. We can use a compression system, a file compressor, to compress that file down. A very popular one that is actually built into um, uh, uh, Windows is the zip. Zip is a compression file method. It's actually a lossless one, but I'll go through what that means later. But if I was to um, place a file in there now, copy and paste a file, it will be compressed, so it will be smaller. Um, so that's what compression does. So why do you use it? Well, obviously, smaller file size speed up downloading from the internet. They also take up less space on the secondary storage. The only downside really is that obviously you need to actually spend some time compressing them. And they need to be decompressed before use, which can take up some processing power. Or in terms of like games, increases loading time because a lot of the data is compressed in games and then it would need to be loaded and decompressed um, or whatever. It can increase loading time. It can actually sometimes decrease it because uh, the processing could be quicker. But the point is it affects um, uh, it needs to be, it affects the times of loading or downloading of things. So there are two types of compression. There's lossless. So lossless compression can compress data files without losing any of the information. So basically, to give it a, a very basic design, ignore this. If I had the numbers 45, 67, 22, and 1, okay, they're being binary, obviously. If I compress them down to whatever they can press down to, when I was to decompress them, they would be 45, 67, 22, and 1. Exactly the same. The compressed version, decompressed, would be mathematically identical. So there is no loss of data. This type of compression, okay, is reversible. However, not all data files can be pressed using loss of compression, or at least not compressed well. So some data can compress with it and some, and, and some not well. Um, it's used to compress these sorts of files. So think about the ones where you can't have anything be changed. I can't have a Word document where some of the letters are different than before. I can't have an Excel file where the math is different. You know, I can't have a computer executable file where the, the binary is different, so it will crash the computer or something. You know, game save data, any scientific data is normally compressed lossless, um, but just anywhere that data needs to be 100% the same as it was before. Okay, so that's lossless. I'll go through some lossless in a, uh, in a second, but I'll just show you lossy first. So lossy compression compresses data but does lose some of the information. So think about it if you crushed a can down to a small size and then sort of uncrushed it with your hands, yeah, you'd get the can sort of back, but it would never look perfect. It's been damaged and it's not repairable. It does produce smaller file sizes, though, a lot smaller. Uh, but obviously it's not good if you... Uh, need accuracy so it is nearly always predominantly used to compress media files music images video etc I can't think of any other file that you would uh, use a lossy compression for there might be some science data where they only need to be 99% accurate but they run loads of compression I don't know but uh, it's media and so basically when you're compressing say like a really good one to talk about is like mp3 how do they compress it then uh, what they do is like say mp3 is quite clever they take out lots of the audio that humans can't hear so that's one thing that's quite good for mp3s and other things like that they use techniques like that to um to, to reduce the quality or to, to, to change it so that it's it's unnoticeable. They do the same with images, but they're very complicated algorithms for lossy compression. Um, so this is not something I could quickly go through, uh, and the math is quite high level. So uh, lossy compression uses clever, complex mathematical algorithms um, to compress the data. Um, lossless compression is a lot actually easier to understand. It's quite simple. I'm going to show you some now. So lossless, I'll give you an example here. So this is an image. Now, I did say to you before that images are normally compressed uh, lossy, but there are different formats. Some image formats like PCX um, and a few others are lossless. Uh, and that could be important. Whilst it's okay to have lossy images, maybe you don't want them. Maybe you want to have an original picture. Maybe not the one that you send out to the publisher or anything, but you want an original photograph in really, really, really high quality. You don't want to compress it. So you might keep that as a raw or um, a loss, uh, lossless compressed. 
Um, so let's take this image and compress it losses. So let's give uh, these the numbers. So we'll have 0 be white. We'll have 1 be red, 2 be green, and 3 be yellow. I'm just going to put the colours next to it. That was... Uh, uh, yeah, that's right. Um, there, there, and then I'll leave white. Oh, I'll get the box in. Right, there we go. So... Now, this would then be 0, 0, and this is not binary, obviously, so don't be getting confused by the zero zeros. And actually, if you'd watched my uh, stuff on images before, you should know that you could encode this differently. But just think of it as concepts of these are just numbers, okay? Um, so, it's not binary. This is just a number 2, right? And I'm not going to carry on after this. I'm just going to stop after the next one and just not bother with the bottom one. So, these are numbers, right? Actually, I could just do it quickly. Right, there we go. So, okay, so that would be one. Now, that would be in binary because the metadata for this image would give the width and the height of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8 by 8. So the metadata would say that it's 8 wide, 8 high. But the actual data would just be all in a row, like all the numbers would just be in a row, like 0, 0, it'd be 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, then 8 twos, you know, and so on and so forth, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's do let's do, let's do these two rows and compress them. So another way of saying this would be I could do the number of them full of bytes. So I say, right, we've got two zeros, we've got four ones. So that is there. That why don't I use the same colour? That's just dumb. Is there? That's the worst colour to pick ever. Um, and then we carry on. So we've got two zeros, then we've got eight twos. Okay, I'm not going to, uh, oh, I suppose I will highlight them because, you know, I've started the process. So, and I picked the world's hardest to see colours, whatever. The point is, you can see here that I have compressed these, 16, down to this, 8. And that, and then we can reverse that, right, so we go two zeros, zero, zero. We go four ones, one, 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 one. We go two zeros, zero, zero. And then we go eight twos. What have I done here? I did an extra one. Eight twos. There you go. And now we've got the exact same file. Now, as you can see here, if you have certain data where the number like this changed every single time, which, by the way, it doesn't as often as you'd think. Think about a picture with loads of white space, uh, words with repeated letters or repeated words, and there's other things they can do. There's other techniques for, um, you know, lossy compression. It's not just this only technique. This is called run length encoding, by the way. You don't need to know about this for the exam in terms of, like, or... I need to know how to do run length encoding. You did in last year, but they're taking it out. I think mean, I should leave it in, but anyway. Um, but you just it's just good to show you how a lossy compression works. Okay, so, you know, I've compressed that to that. There are other ways of doing lossy compression, but it's just the easiest one to explain. Uh, and often they use a combination of, of these and others uh, to, to get their answer. But you can see here, this data would, would not compress at all. In fact, it would get bigger because it's two zero two one well sorry one zero one one it's one of each one so there's no way you're not you're not you're not getting any rep repetition um lossless compression works better with repetition but it, it can work in patterns as well they can look for patterns and they make like a table you know if we had those that like if we had that over and over and over and over again the computer would understand that's a pattern and then it would give that a special number like 77 you know like a table yeah and that'd be 77 77 77 so there are things you can do, but there, that's called run length encoding. It's just a type of lossy compression, lossless compression, apologies, lossless. So, right, um, because people are just copying and pasting rubbish off the internet, I mean, it's so bad in some of the lessons uh, in your classes and in year 11, I'm no longer going to give you a worksheet to complete. I'm going to make you draw it out and write it, because even if you write it, um, and I'm going to give you the answers, so I'm going to go through the whole section now, um, so this is what you're going to draw out. So obviously you have to watch this video and then draw this out. You have to do the colours. I just did that to talk about it. Um, so when you're filling this out, I want you to use this video. Okay, go back to the pages where I talk about them and just copy it from my slides, not from the internet. Copying and pasting. So lossless file compression is where the data is compressed, and when it is decompressed, it is exactly the same as the original. Describe run length encoding. Well, there you could give an example. It is also used for like, um, so like you could have letters like A, A, B, 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 C, 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 and you go 4A, 6B, and I'm going to guess 9C. It's 8C, damn it. Yeah, and then you can show, look, you know, that's the compression, but just give an example of, you know, compression. It compresses repeating data is what run length encoding does. 
Uh, give some examples later that would use lossless. Well, um, executable files, um, Word documents, Office, budgets, game save data, anything like that. Uh, right, lossless compression file formats, just Google them. You'll get loads of them. Okay, zip is one. That one I told you earlier, zip. Uh, the one that's in here, zip is one, so is raw, uh, but there's others, there's loads of them. Um, and just just one thing with that is, I, um, I know that I'm going to put over here that images and media are the only ones you can use lossy with, pretty much. It doesn't mean they always are. It might be that a, uh, a very high detailed MRI scan of a brain or something might not want to be using some sort of lossy compression because you might end up sticking a little bit that looks like some sort of tumor or something in there. So you, so there are some instances where images aren't always compressed lossy, but um, but they're they're one of the few ones that can be. Um, and uh, if I get up, say Affinity Designer, which is a program I like to use, you will see that when you're designing uh, an image, whatever you can export it in various different methods, uh, some of which will be uh, lossy. Um, I think PNG is lossless. Yeah, PNG is lossless. Uh, so uh, PNG is a lossless file format. Uh, that's lossless. Uh, that one is definitely lossy. So you can see there, um, uh, they compress different ways. Um, that's a vector image so yeah there you go so there's different ones some are lossy some are lossless but yeah anyway so um you're going to answer those questions let's go back to this so yeah so lossy i've just basically use my slides to write the answers not that difficult um compression types easy to find lossy ones they'll be old images so any 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 movie image type like MPEG-4 or something will be lossy because uh, it, videos are humongous otherwise. So, yep, so fill in the worksheet, draw it out, sorry, and then take a photo of it, or you can do it, you know, and then um, upload it.